I'm Rich Carroll. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. More arrests are made in a local thrift store robbery. Karen Johnson has the details. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office has been investigating a larceny at St. Mary's Thrift Store, located on St. Mary's Place in Bunnell, for about a month. Church staff noticed that numerous items were missing, which led to the investigation that revealed surveillance footage showing people taking items meant for the store. Sheriff Rick Staley. Thanks to tips provided by the community, a 46-year-old Angelia Newsom has been arrested in addition to the two prior arrests. We're still looking for three others. If you know who they are, check out the Flagler Sheriff social media website platforms and send us your tips. Sheriff Staley also says detectives interviewed 51-year-old Michelle Wilburn and she admitted that she was the woman in the photo when she drove the van to the thrift store that day. However, she was unable to recall anything else due to being high on meth. During the encounter with Wilburn, detectives noted she has a distinctive tattoo on the outside of her right leg and that tattoo is clearly visible on the surveillance footage from the thrift store theft. Sheriff Staley says with your help, they're continuing to follow up and track down the additional suspects in the case. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. The Tiger Bay Club is a rarity these days. It's a nonpartisan political group with 16 chapters in the state. Founded in 1963 in Miami with members and folks that follow Tiger Bay, Uh, across the state of Florida. We just did a survey on that. It's about 10,000 people throughout the state of Florida that are either members of Tiger Bay Club or folks that regularly follow Tiger Bay Club. Greg Davis is the president of the Flagler Tiger Bay Club. He tells us more about its beginnings here locally. Founded by myself and my partner in crime, Don Madden, over a cup of coffee and a bagel as our idea. And we felt that looking at things that are happening in today's environment, that civility needed to be reintroduced back into the political community. And i got to tell you, it's something that's just really taking hold. People really thirst for that. Davis says what makes this group stand out is that they take issues from no perspective at all and dive in to inform and educate. It's about the content value of what we produce. It's not about the entertainment value. It's about the information value. It's what we focus on. So we bring in speakers that inform. We do a balanced approach. We ask them engaging and tough questions in our meetings. Our members do. And it's a great environment. You'll hear from three of their speakers at a forum Thursday called An Insider's Look at Florida Politics. It features three prominent politicos, former Congressman David Jolly, Frank Terraferma, director of Florida House Campaigns for the Republican Party, and Steve Shale, a Democratic strategist. Hear the program live at noon, Thursday, right here on WNZF. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. An annual golf tournament helps raise funds for first responders in Flagler Beach. John Arking has the story. The tournament was held at the Grand Haven Golf Club on Monday. Jamie is with the Beachfront Grill, which sponsored the event and says the money raised will help buy needed equipment for both the Flagler Beach Police and Fire Departments. They use them, you know, for things they need in their cars and stuff like that that helps them out. And we've never donated to the Flagler Beach Fire Department. We've always given it to the county. They can use it for different things as well, especially as you know that they are not covered under bulletproof vests and things like that that unfortunately they need now as well. Flagler Beach Police Chief Matt Downey says the help the tournament provides is invaluable. Oh, it's incredible. The camaraderie of the players out here just to support the police and fire department mean the world to us. I mean, it's not all about the money. It's all about you know our community giving us at the police department and the fire department an opportunity to use these funds for things outside of what we can do with our budgets. Chief Downey says the money raised will help them begin replacing their 10 radar guns, which cost about $1,100 each. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. Some people just have it. Flagler Executive Airport Director Roy Seeger is one of those. He said on a recent The Flagler Voice program, one of WNZF's newest local programs, that he's had the privilege flying famous people in some famous machines. I got to be a crew chief on several different aircraft in the military, like a King Air. This is a C-12, a twin turboprop aircraft, flying VIPs all over the place. And then one of the cool jobs I got also, I was the personal crew chief in security for the general 
on the T-39 Sabrelander jet, so that was a lot of fun, flying all over the country. Seeger said that while college may have been up in the air, he was grounded. I got my college degree in professional aeronautics with a minor in aviation safety. Seeger said there was a campus on the airbase, so he didn't have to go far to go to college. You can listen to the Flagler Voice every Saturday morning at 8.30 on WNZF. The program is a community service of Tag Ventures Real Estate Services. Tomorrow, Roy Seeger talks about the airport, FPL, and Hurricane Matthew. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.